So we are now on module 4, which is traffic analysis of roads. So before we start our discussion, let us try to identify the intended learning outcomes. So at the end of the module, the students are expected to identify and discuss the traffic stream parameters, recognize the different basic traffic stream parameters, identify the models of traffic flow, and identify and discuss the queuing theory and traffic flow analysis. We move on to traffic stream parameters. So what are, tra what are traffic stream parameters? So basically, uh, traffic stream can be characterized by a number of different operational performance measure. So a traffic st a stream that operates free from the influence of such traffic control devices as signals and stop signs is classified as in uninterrupted flow. So this type of traffic flow is influenced primarily by roadway characteristic and the interaction interaction of the vehicles in the traffic stream. So <clears throat> Traffic stream that operate under the influence of signals and stop signs are classified as uninterrupted flow. So, the freeways, multi-lane highways, and two-lane highways are often operate under uninterrupt, uninterrupted flow conditions. So, basically, uh, when I talk about traffic stream parameters, we are talking about the speed, the flow, the density. So those are some of the basic parameters that is being considered. So different measures of speed, for example, these are used in traffic flow analysis. Like, uh, like for example, the spot speed, the timing speed, and so on. So time space diagram can also be used for determining these parameters. So although there are concept that are generally applicable to both types of flow, there are some additional complexities involved with the analysis of traffic flow as signalized and unsignalized intersection. Now we move on to traffic flow, speed, and density. We have to take note that traffic flow, the speed, and the density are variables that form the underpinnings of traffic analysis. So to start with, let us try to define our traffic flow. So traffic flow actually is being denoted by small letter Q, and that is defined as the number of vehicles passing some designated roadway at point during time T represented by N all over T, which is the duration of time interval. We have to take note that our flow is often measured over the course of an hour, in which the case, the resulting value is typically referred to as the volume. So which means that the volume is uh, being used to understand that the corresponding value is in units of vehicles per hour. So when we talk about volume, so which means we're talking about the number of vehicles per hour. So that is volume. So the definition of flow is more generalized to account for the measurement of vehicles over any period of time. So we have to take note that analysis flow rate is usually based on the peak 15 minute flow within the hour of interest. So aside from actually aside from the total number of vehicles that is passing in a certain point at some time interval, the amount of time between the passing of successive vehicle or which means we're talking about the time between arrival of successive vehicle is also an interest or, or it is also of interest. The time between the passage of this front bumpers of successive vehicle at some designated highway point actually is known as time headway. So when you talk about the time between the passage of the front bumper of successive vehicles, at some designated highway point that is time headway so successive vehicle so that is the time in between time in between of the passage of the uh, headway of successive vehicle so that is what we call uh, time headway so time headway actually is being defined as the uh, it is denoted actually by t wherein our time headway actually is related to T, which is our time, our duration of time interval. So that is uh, equivalent now to, if you're going to observe, you have T is equal to the submission of HI from I is equal to 1 to N. So we have to take note that our HI is the time headway of the ith vehicle 
So the elapsed time between the arrivals of vehicles I and I minus 1. And uh, N here refers to the number of measured vehicle time headways at some designated roadway point. So that is basically the uh, relationship of our uh, time headway. So in turn of our time headway, as we try to uh, identify the value for our t, which is the duration of our uh, of the time interval. So if we try to substitute uh, the value of t from this equation, q is equal to n all over t. So we try to substitute the value of t that we have identified a while ago, which is our time headway. So we have now our equation, which has q is equal to n all over the submission of hi from uh, which uh, where in i is equal to one to n. So we have to take note this one is actually equivalent. That is our time headway. Or we can simply have uh, uh, bar h. We can have a bar h, which is the average time headway, and that will be equivalent to summation of h i all over n. So therefore, we can have this equation q is equal to 1 all over h bar or bar h. So we have now our value for our uh, q, the flow rate. So we have to take note that the average traffic speed is defined in two ways. The first is the arithmetic mean of the vehicle speed observed at some designated point along the roadway. So this is referred to as the time mean speed and that is expressed as, so our time mean speed is denoted by uh, bar use of i, wherein uh, uh, bar use of t, wherein it is it is equivalent to the summation of use of i, wherein i is equal to one to n all over n. And you have to take note that our use of i is actually the path speed of the ith vehicle, and our n is our mesh number of measured vehicle path speed. The second definition of speed is more useful in the context of traffic analysis and actually that is determined on the basis of the time necessary for a vehicle to travel from known length of a roadway so we are now talking about the length of the uh, we're talking now about the space means uh, speed so this measure of traffic speed is referred to as this is now our space means speed and that is actually expressed uh, assuming that the travel time for all vehicles is measured over the same length of roadway. So we have to take note that our uh, space means speed. So this is the second definition of speed, which is uh, the first one was time uh, means speed. Now we move on to the second one, which is space means speed. And space means speed is denoted by bar use of S, and that is equal to L all over so L here refers to our length of the roadway used for travel time, measure the measurements of vehicle, and our bar T is the average vehicle travel time. And that actually our bar T is defined as 1 over N, the submission of T sub I, I is equal to 1 to N. And we have to take note that our T sub I is actually equivalent to time necessary for vehicle i to travel a roadway section of length l and our n is the number of measured vehicle travel times and if we try to substitute now the equation for our uh, bar t from if we're going to substitute the value for average time we travel for average vehicle travel time which is bar t this is our average vehicle time uh, average vehicle travel time this is our bar t and if we try to substitute this value to this equation to our space means speed so we got now this equation we have now we simply have to substitute the value for our uh average time traveled and we have now our space mean speed or actually this can be written as this which is uh, 1 over 
1 over n, the summation of quantity 1 over l over t sub i, wherein i is equal to 1 to n. So we have to take note that which is the, uh, this one is the harmonic mean of speed or the space mean speed. Space mean speed is the speed variable used in traffic model. So that's basically the, the main use or the objective for our space mean speed. It is the speed variable that is used in traffic model. So let's have here an example. So our example here is uh, in terms, of course, for our time and speed uh, time and space mean speed. So the problem states that the speed of five vehicles were measured with radar at a point of a 0.5 mile section of roadway. So the speed of vehicles are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, or 44, 42, 51, 49, and 46 mile per hour respectively. So assuming all vehicles were traveling at constant speed over this roadway section, calculate the time, mean, and space mean speed. So basically, we're given here with, uh, we're given with the uh, speed of the vehicle for we have five vehicles and we are given with its corresponding speed. So we are going to assume that they Are traveling at a constant speed over this roadway so we're going to calculate now the times mean and space mean speed so basically if we're going to have the times mean speed so we simply have to substitute to our equation so that will be the summation of u sub i from i is equal to 1 to n so we simply have to get the average here so simply substitute the speed for each corresponding uh, vehicles so you have 44 42 51 49 and 46 so sum up that one divided by five so you get now a value of 46.4 mile per hour now to determine the space mean speed so this is the formula for uh, space mean speed so use of s so however you have to take note that our uh, this one L all over T sub I is actually equivalent to use of I. So we simply can have, since we are given with our speed for each of the vehicle, so we can have a value for L all over T, which is equal to use of I or equivalent to U. So therefore, our space mean speed can be equivalent now to 1 all over 1 over N times the summation of N quantity 1 over the summation of quantity 1 over use of i from i is equal to 1 to n and if we try to substitute now the values for our u so using the equation if we're going to substitute now the value for our speed for vehicle 1 2 3 4 and 5 so our n here of course is 5 since we have 5 vehicles so we have here 1 over 5 uh, multiplied to the quantity of 1 over this is the first vehicle, second vehicle, third, fourth, and fifth vehicle. So therefore, simplifying this one, you get a value of 46.17 mile per hour. So if you're going to observe that the space mean speed actually is lower than the value for our time mean speed. Unless uh, all vehicles are traveling at exactly of the same speed, in which the case the two measures will be equal. Since the vehicles are not traveling on the same speed, so basically they will have they would have a different value for our uh, space mean speed and times uh, and times mean speed. However, if they will be traveling on uh, the same speed, so basically the times mean speed and the space mean speed can have an equal value.